I learned that Eliza helped Alexander Hamilton write George Washington's farewell speech. I didn't know that. Welcome everyone. My name is Christina Werther and I'm a commissioner on the Citizens Clean Elections Commission. Today we have some very special guests from the cast of Hamilton. I'm Giselle Soleil-Ione. I, in Hamilton, am the offstage standby for the Schuyler sisters, which means I am not in the show every night. I'm backstage until someone takes a vacation or a personal day or maybe is out sick. And so I cover Angelica, Eliza, and Peggy Mariah, who are both played by the same person. And I understudy all three Schuyler sisters as well. Hamilton has a really intense relation because it is directly about the U.S. government and the history of the U.S. government. I think it's always going to be impactful and relevant, mm -hmm. which is the beautiful thing about it. But I think it's just going to hit different each time. I think it's really interesting and, and special the way that there are going to be things in the show that show us like, wow, we're not that far off from what was happening then. And then there are ways where it's like, this is, we're totally different than what was happening. So sure. I think, and even that changes from time to time, day to day with, with the climate that we're in, you know, the, the, with how fast things can change. Yeah, the cab battles where we see the two different po political parties facing each other in debate rings very true to what we experience today. And I, I feel like, you know, sometimes I'll be in those scenes and be like, wow, this feels really like before we started the show. This feels like how the world is. When we think about the Revolutionary War, we think about these old dudes with like wigs and like, you know, and I think it's really important to remember. And I think with Hamilton through the spirit of hip hop and contemporary dance styles that like, this was the moment. This was happening for a lot of young people and it was relevant and it was active and it was important and exciting. So what do you think is, I would say the most underappreciated aspect of Eliza's character? The portrait that you see of Eliza Hamilton when you Google her is like just kind of cheeky and like she's got this Marie Antoinette wig on and, and they describe her in the descriptions of it that she's got a little bit of humor in her eyes and a little bit of a smirk and so I think that she was probably a fun time to be around. Mm -hmm. So I don't think, I think it's a very dramatic role, but it doesn't have to be serious the whole time. And I think having some of that joy and humor gives her farther to fall when the serious mm -hmm. stuff starts happening. So for Angelica, for her character, um, how do you interpret sort of her, I guess, relationship with Hamilton? The way I interpret it is uh, I really take the line, uh, I, I know my sister like I know my own mind. You will never find anyone as, as trusting or as kind. Um, that she like would never do anything to hurt her sister. So there's history as well in, in a lot of his letters. The letters that we have as prop letters on stage mm -hmm. are actual uh, Hamilton's, replicas of Hamilton's oh, letters. So cool. if I have a moment on stage where I get to read a letter, I'm typically reading the actual letter. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so those are really fun. One of them does specifically, he brings up Peggy and historians, I guess those letters often he was talking about Peggy because they also had a really great companionship. So I think of it in that sort of way. It's just like this beautiful, like your husband gets along really well with your sisters. So what do you think is the most interesting thing you've learned about the Schuyler family while researching this role. One, I didn't know that Peggy's born name is Margarita. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. That the Schuyler sisters actually, at least Angelica and Peggy, both married people that their father was not very happy with. They didn't think that they were quite suitable matches. And then also that both Angelica and Eliza had not eight children. They both named their first born after their father, Philip, yeah. and they both named a, a child after each other. They both named a child after themselves. They mm -hmm. both named a child after Alexander, and nobody named anybody Margarita. Right. I learned yeah. that Eliza helped Alexander Hamilton write George Washington's farewell speech. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. And so she like had a hand in that. So that might play a little bit more into when I'm, you know, standing with Hamilton, watching him deliver the speech mm -hmm. of like, Get it right. Well, I want to thank you both today because for your time here and, and sharing and not only obviously being here for the interview, but also sharing your talents on stage and uh, welcoming, you know, Phoenix kind of into your experience and hope that you've uh, enjoyed that your time here as well. It's been so awesome. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Thank you so much.